hello guys welcome back to this channel in this video i'm going to talk about how to connect two limit switches to a contactor or to a load and the connection is going to be done in such a way that when the two limit switches are being operated before the load is going to work something like this you operate the two of the limit switches before the load is going to work If you operate only one, the load is not going to work or the contactor is not going to energize unless you operate the two of them, something like this. So what I want from you is to stay tuned as I make progress. I also have this lamp here and I'm going to use the lemmas to control this lamp first. After that, I connect it to this contactor and the connection is going to be simple and easy. And what I want from you is to stay tuned as I make progress. This bar you see here is called actuator. This is what is going to help us do the normal open and the normal close in the built-in switch over here. You have a switch over here. I've made a video about limit switch and I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. If you want to learn more about limit switches, then you check the description. I've explained all the features on this limit switch. This is the built-in switch. Yes, this is the actuator helping us open and close the switch, the built-in switch. You could see that the moment I slide it like this or move it, they say close and open at this side. This limit switch has four terminals and we are going to use only the normal open. So the moment I slide it like this or move it like this, before it is going to close and the current will start flowing to the load or the contactor. We have four terminals and we are only going to use the normal open. We have number one and number two, that is normally close, around number three and number four. That is normal open. We are only going to focus on the normal open to control the contactor or the lamp, as I said. We are going to use it to control this lamp. After that, I connect it to the contactor very fast and easy. So, I'll be using this green cable as the neutral and the red as the live. So, I'll quickly connect this red to the live section of my circuit breaker. This is the live. So I'll connect it to the down terminal over here. To the normal open terminal, we have number three and number four. So I'll connect it to number four. We are connecting it in series. And as I said, we have to operate the two of the limit switches before the load or the contactor is going to work. If you operate only one, the contactor or the load is not going to work unless both in series, when one component breaks, the whole circuit is not going to work. And that is the reason why we have to operate the two of the limit switches. If we operate only one, the other one is going to serve as a breakage in the circuit. So we are going to operate the two of them. The cable must pass through this side. To one side of the limit switch. Another red. That's if you are using the normal open. So from this side, it must pass through this cover again. This to this side too. I'll then close it. When I turn on the breaker, the current is going to flow from this side, from this terminal to this terminal, the limit switch, the number three. The moment I move it like this, the actuator, the terminal is going to close and the current is going to be transferred to this terminal. And from this terminal then to this side of the other limit switch, and then insert it here.
to number three of this let me switch then pick it from the other side to the lamp holder then this cable will be connected to the lamp holder you have two terminals so you have to connect it to only one and the other one is going to be the neutral guys you are successfully done with the limit switch connections the light coming all the way from the breaker to one terminal that is the number three and i use another red cable to pick from the other terminal to the other limit switch to number three you are left with only the neutral the neutral coming all the way from the breaker to the lamp holder So guys, we are done with the connections. So guys, as I said, we have successfully connected all the needed components to be connected in the circuit. I'll then insert my lamp itself turn on the circuit breaker so right now there is a flow of current from this live terminal to the number three terminal that is the normal open number three the current is being trapped at that section the moment i push it with my hand something like this it will be then transferred to the other terminal and the other cable will take it to number three of this limit switch the moment i push it with my hand the current will be transferred to the other terminal and from this side to the lamp holder and our lamp is going to grow or illuminate in the beginning of the video i said that we are going to do the connection in series so in series when one component breaks the circuit is not going to work so when i push it something like this how to then push this one to for the load to work so these two limit switches must be operated at the same time and don't forget that wherever you install a limit switch, there must be a moving body that is going to move this actuator. It's going to push it either direction. It is going to work. As I said it earlier, I've made a video about this limit switch and I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. So if you want to know more about this limit switch, you can then check it out. So guys, this is how to connect two limit switches in series to control a load. Now, before I connect the contactor, I have the contactor here. I want us to look at a short description. Over here, let me turn the safety first. Let me turn it off. Over here, you could see that we have IT 10 amps. The maximum current rating of this limit switch is 10 amps. So whenever you are connecting a limit switch to a load, you have to then look at this current rating of the limit switch and that of the load. This lamp you see here is 18 watts and it's going to draw just a few amounts of current. So it is not a problem to connect this limit switch to this load. But then when you are connecting it to a load that has more current rating than this 10 amps, the current rating of that load is more than this 10 amps or the current rating of this limit switch then you have to use a contactor this contactor has 32 amps of current rating so if the current rating of your load is more than this current rating on this limit switch you have to then use a contactor you have to connect this limit switch to a contactor you have the same it this is a thermal current rating 32 amps and this is this thermal current rating is 10 amps. You have the IT at this side, 10 amps. So I'm going to remove the cable from the lamp holder and connect it to the contactor. It is very easy. This is the live coming all the way from the breaker 
through the lemme switches i'll connect this live cable to the a1 and the a1 and a2 a2 is the neutral i'll connect this cable to the a2 the a2 you have two of them one at this side and the other one at this side any of them is the same so if you connect it to one of these two terminals it is going to work i'll connect the live to the a1 this is the neutral as i said to the a2 you can choose to connect it to this a2 or the back here the a2 at the back here it's so still going to work so connect it to the a2 at this side guys we have successfully removed the cables from the lamp holder and then connected it to the, the magnetic contactor this is the a2 that is the neutral this is the a1 that is the live from the lemme switches the current rating of this contactor is 32 so if your load current rating is more than this 10 amps then you have to connect it to your contactor whether your load is single phase or three phase it will still work the only thing you have to do is to install this lemme switch at where there is a moving body this is in series so the, you have to make sure that the moving objects or the body must push these two limit switches before the load is going to work so i'll then turn on the circuit breaker and then push the limit switch with my hand and see how the contactor is going to operate i'll push the two of them it has energized yes very simple and easy so this is the actuator if it is too long for you you can then use this allen key this is allen key 3 or size 3 insert it here depending on what you are doing if you want the length to be something like this or something like this just adjust it to this level and then light it back if you want the other one to be the same like this one just lose it and as i said earlier i've explained all of this in the first video i did about what is lemme switch i'm going to leave the link in the description down below you can check it out Guys, if you are looking for a way to control a contactor or a load using a lemme switch, then this video best fits for you. So make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that anytime I drop a video, YouTube is going to notify you. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video.